as I sat there, I was asking the Holy Ghost uh, what to talk about, and the song started. So I'm going to give you a bit of my own testimony as I, thank you, Ma, as I um, take us through the, the bread and the, and the wine. So I first heard this song, this particular song, from Foundation in January 2022. 2022, yes. Now, I'll give you a backstory. We know that our blessed Pastor Nom went to be with the Lord in November 2021. Amen? Are you with me? This is for somebody here. Um, and in December 2022, we found out that my dad was not feeling too well. And so he had traveled and I was with the kids in his house. And sometimes I'd pray, you know, figuring out, you know, just trying to get my mind around what was going, going on. And then one day I went on YouTube and I was playing worship and this song came. And when the song came, it spoke to something deep in my spirit. I didn't know what was ahead of me, but I knew who I was walking with. And this song confirmed to me that whatever can happen or will happen or has happened does not change the foundation I'm built on. I don't know who I'm speaking to today. The rains can come. The winds can blow. But your foundation is solid. And I don't know if you remember, I preached in January of 2022. And I sang this song. At that time, many didn't understand why I was singing this song. But I understood why I was singing this song. I have come to tell somebody here today, no matter what the devil is trying to throw at you, your foundation is solid. Your foundation is Jesus. This is the hope of every Christian. You have a solid foundation. Things can be happening left, right, and center. You are built on the solid rock. You are built on Jesus. So while everything was going on, we were standing strong and firm. Why? Because our foundation is Jesus. So I don't know who you are today. Your foundation is not your bank account. Your foundation is not your bank account. Your foundation is not who you know. Your foundation is not your name. Your foundation is Jesus. There's a lot happening in the economy now. You see, when Peter took his eyes off Jesus and he looked to the waves, he started to sink. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus and he will come through for you. The Lord has come through for me in ways that I cannot explain because I have chosen. It's a decision. You have to decide. I have chosen to keep my eyes on Jesus. We're going to be taking the bread and the wine very soon. I want us to read this scripture very quickly. 1 Peter 1, I'll read from verses 17. Rain came, wind blew, my house was built on you. I'm safe with you I'm gonna make it through rain came with you my house was built on you I'm safe with you You are safe with him. I was praying yesterday and I was asking the Lord. I said, Lord, 
sometimes I'm a bit confused as to which way to go. And you know what the Lord told me? He said, I am the way. You cannot be confused because you are on me. I don't know who you are. Don't be confused. He is the way. You are on the way. So you cannot be lost. I don't know who that is for, but I hope whoever is for has gotten it in Jesus' name. Let's read. 1 Peter 17. I start from, sorry, 1 Peter 18. Amplified version. For you know that you are not redeemed from your useless spirituality, unproductive way of life, inherited by tradition from your forefathers with perishable things like silver and gold. 19. But you are actually purchased with precious blood like that of a sacrificial lamb, unblemished and spotless, the priceless blood of Christ. 20. For he was foreordained, foreknown, before the foundations of the world, but has appeared publicly in these last times for your sake. 21. And through him you believed confidently in God, the Heavenly Father, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory so that your faith and hope are centered and rest in God. Your faith and hope is centered and is resting in God. Our hope is in the blood of Jesus. Our hope is in the blood of Jesus. Our hope is in the blood of Jesus. I don't know why you came here today, but you came here to meet the one who can change your situation. You came here to meet the one who can break every chain. You came here to meet the one who can turn your situation around in a second. One minute of God's attention can change a lifetime of misery. I want you to believe in who you have come to meet here today. You didn't come and meet a man. Who did you come to meet here today? The blood is still speaking. The blood still has power. This is our confidence. Because he came and because he died, we believe that everything is settled. Everything is sorted. You are not alone. I don't know who I'm talking to today. The blood is still speaking. Every time they call you, the blood will answer. Every time your name is mentioned, the blood will answer. The blood speaks. The blood defends. The blood covers. The blood cleanses. The blood changes. What can wash away my sin? But the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing. of Jesus and we have the blood of Jesus. Can we rise up and start to plead the blood? Nothing can wash away sin. Nothing can redeem. 
Nothing can cleanse but the blood. Start to plead the blood. Before we take the wine and the bread, start to plead the blood. Start to plead the blood. There is power. Power. Wonder working power. In the blood. 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 Of a lamb, there is power. There is power. Wonder working power. Wonder working power. In the precious blood of the lamb. Start to plead the blood of Jesus. Start to plead the blood of Jesus over this month, January. Start to plead the blood of Jesus over your life and situation. Start to plead the blood of Jesus over your current circumstances. Start to plead the blood of Jesus. This is the power that we have. This is the covenant that we operate in. We operate in the covenant of the blood. Start to plead the blood of Jesus. Start to plead the blood of Jesus. This is our hope. This is our foundation. This is the price that was paid. Start to plead the blood of Jesus. Start to plead the blood of Jesus over your home, over your circumstance, over your spouses, over your children, over your entire life, over your future, over your tomorrow, over your now. Start to plead the blood. The blood speaks. The blood covers. The blood fights. The blood defends. The blood redeems. And then the Boshania. Start to plead the blood. 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 Can the lay a demand on the blood of Jesus? Lay a demand on the blood of Jesus. Lay a demand on the blood of Jesus. The blood works. The blood works. The blood works. The blood works. There is power in the blood of Jesus. There is wonder working power in the blood of Jesus. It is our year of signs and wonders. And there is wonder working power in the blood of Jesus. Start to plead the blood. Start to plead the blood. Start to call on the blood of Jesus. And send it over your situation, over your circumstance. Start to plead the blood of Jesus. This is our hope. This is our hope. This is our hope. This is why we are here today. Because the blood still works. The blood still has miraculous power. The blood still does miracles. And the rebo shikai and the rebo sanaya. It reaches to the high. Yes, mountain. No matter how high the situation can be. And it flows to the low west valley. Oh, the blood that gives me strength <laughs> from day to day, it will never. speak it right but I know you understand me did I say it right he said it all the time he will pray and pray and pray and say, ah, I can't say it properly but you know what I mean the blood still works the blood still works 
the blood is fighting for you the blood is standing for you the blood of Jesus still works you understand or believe this thing you can only believe and to the measure you believe it's the measure it works for you the blood still works I don't know who I'm talking to this evening the blood of Jesus still works the blood breaks every chain the blood breaks every chain the blood breaks every chain start to pray start to declare the blood is working for me is fighting for me the blood is standing for me the blood is working for me the blood is fighting for me the blood is standing for me the blood is speaking for me start to declare and then I plead the blood of Jesus I plead the blood of Jesus I lay a demand I lay a demand I lay a demand I lay a demand, I lay a demand. I lay a demand on the blood of Jesus working power of the blood of Jesus. The blood still has miraculous power. Do you believe in the blood of Jesus? Do you believe in the blood of Jesus? Do you believe in the blood of Jesus? Somebody shout the blood. Say I plead Jesus I plead the blood of Jesus over this house say I plead the blood of Jesus over the fountain of life church I plead the blood of Jesus over my family I plead the blood of Jesus 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 if you're here and you have not given your life to Jesus Christ you cannot partake in this covenant meal every arrow that has been shot every arrow that has been shot Every arrow that's on its way, we return it back to sender in the name of Jesus. Hey! He says when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Lord will raise a standard. The Lord is raising 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 a standard. Wherever it might be coming from, we return it back to sender in the name of Jesus. It says where the carcass is, the eagles will gather. And if they gather, it's not of the Lord, they shall perish. This is the power that we have. We don't have any other power. We don't have any other power. This is the power that we have. This is the covenant that we operate on. It's the covenant of the blood of Jesus. The lamb that was slain. If you're here and you've not given your life to Christ and you want to be a partaker, please come out very quickly. Can we just continue praying in the spirit? 
Amen. If you have the cup, as we take this covenant meal, we lay a demand. We just don't take this for taking its sake. We lay a demand. What demand are you laying this evening? You will not be tired. You will not give up. Your life will not sue you. I kept hearing in my, in my ear, what is sue me? He will not sue you in Jesus' name. Lay a demand for the next two minutes. Lay a demand before we open this. Lay a demand on the blood. This is the power that we have. Every sickness, every disease, every stagnation. Every generational curse and that every word that has been spoken that is acting in the place of power in your life, we pull it down. It cannot exalt itself above. <laughs> Lay a demand on the blood of Jesus. The blood still works and the blood has miraculous power. You will carry your babies. I don't know who you are. You will get pregnant. Nobody can hold your womb. They don't have that kind of power. You are a child of God. Nobody can stop what God has started. Well, Tobe, as my father would say, they know rich. Thank you, Holy Ghost. As we take this covenant meal, we lay a demand on the precious blood of Jesus. Holy Ghost, move in a miraculous way. We are in the year of signs and wonders. And your word says, these signs shall follow them that believe. We believe, oh God. And we are asking in your name. And we are standing on the covenant of the blood of Jesus. And we know that it will be so. Because. You are not a man that you should lie. Once you say it, you will do it. You are a faithful God. So we thank you in anticipation of the manifestation of our testimonies. As we take this bread and this wine, we seal it under the blood of Jesus. And we call it to be so. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Let's open the bread. You can take the bread. You can take the wine. As Jesus said on the cross, when he died, he said, it is finished. Every time I take the blood and the, and the communion, I always say, it is finished. So in Jesus' name, it is finished. Amen. God bless you.